Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and in this video, we'll look at the implementation of semi supervised learning methods, uh, which is self training, classifier, label propagation, and label spreading. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and see how we can code. Here I've imported these libraries, including the semi underscore supervised, and these are the versions that I'm using. So the data set that we'll use in this video is the iris data set and we'll uh, get that as we start writing this code classifier and for this we'll set the variable range rng is equal to np dot random dot random state zero and the first item that we'll look at is getting the data data and that's going to be the iris data is equal to data sets dot load underscore iris and this is going we'll what we'll do is we'll go ahead and print the original values of uh, the label so that we can compare them in the output once we get the predictions actual labels and these actual labels would be just the data dot target and so this we have a y origin so what i'll do is i'll save these values in another uh, variable original so that we can use that later on to calculate the accuracy score and now we'll create unlabeled data unlabeled data uh, what i mean by that is we'll add the label of minus one to the this original data set that we have and to do that uh, what we can do is uh, get random uh, indices so unl unlabeled points is equal to rng dot rand and then this would be data dot target dot shape and zero so the values and this is 0 0.6 so what this is essentially going to do is if you look at rng dot rnd this is going to generate uh, these random numbers and so for the numbers that are below 0 0.6 uh, we can get true or false values so if you type here 0 0.6 then we get these true or false so the unlabeled data points then would be those that are set as true so one two three and four on those labels so four labels would be set as uh, unlabeled data points so with that we can print print uh, we can get a count of uh, the total uh, labels and the unlabeled data points so data dot target dot shape so these would be uh, the total number of data points and from these we have unlabeled unlabeled data would uh, would then be length of u n l underscore points where the u n l underscore points is equal to true so when we run this uh, data sets so when we run this uh, okay for now i'll ignore this warning uh, here we have 150 uh, data points and out of those 87 are now unlabeled and we can also get the percent unlabeled so percent unlabeled and that's now going to be our this value sorry that value divided by the total number of labels which is this value and so well, there should be a comma there so we have about 58 percent of the data that is unlabeled i will now use the semi-supervised methods to find the label and so the first item uh, before we do that we need to set the label uh, to get create the unla uh, unlabeled data we need to set it to minus one so data dot target 
u n l underscore points is equal to minus one so wherever there is a true value it gets replaced by minus one so this acts like a mask um and so here we can print print uh unlabeled uh labels unlabeled target and this is a new line we have data dot target so now if we look at this we have all these minus ones are the unlabeled data in this case so all of these there are some ones in there but there are several minus ones now with that information uh, we can proceed to the next step which is uh, prediction so semi supervised labels how do we get those so here we'll use the svc so svm dot svc and prob probability is equal to true so we are using this method to get the probability values gamma is equal to auto and then use that with the self training class for lbl label is equal to semi underscore supervised dot self training classifier and svc and then we can fit this lbl dot fit this would be under data data dot target now the target has the minus ones in there now we can use that to get our prediction values so lbl dot predict and this would be on the data dot data uh, and we can print this again semi supervised uh, labels and these would be the y pred values that we have computed now and we can also get the accuracy of matrix dot accuracy underscore score y underscore orig and y underscore pred so we can print accuracy accuracy score and that's acu so now when we run this uh we get an error svc uh, sorry svm this should be capital svc my mistake okay so here as we can see uh the accuracy score is uh, much lower and this does not make much sense because as you can see here most of these labels do match uh, maybe some of them don't so for example one then we have two uh, three and these four so if we go back up i think the issue is uh, this needs to be a copy because if the value for the data dot target change to these values then the accuracy is likely based on comparison of this with this and not with this one so once we have changed that to copy now if you look at the values so now we can see that uh, we do get a 97 percent accuracy score uh, in this particular case let's now move on and look at the next set which is label propagation for that we'll copy the exact same code so we don't have to type it again label propagation and here we paste the code and the only change we need to do is this part so we'll change that to lbl lbl is equal to mi underscore supervised and dot label propagation and now when we run this uh, here again we get uh, uh, good labels uh, out here we had 50 plus 58 percent of the data was unlabeled and with this method we were able to get a pretty good uh, labeling of the unlabeled data set now with this next we'll look at the set on spreading so this is uh, label spreading 
and for this we are going to do just one small change here which is change this to spreading and run the code and again as you can see uh, this also does a pretty good job in predicting the labels for uh, unlabeled target so that was it for this video i hope in this and the previous video you got intuition and hands-on experience on how to label unlabeled data set from a small seed sample uh, you could try this on uh, other data sets that you may have or other data sets within scikit-learn so just remove the labels uh, replace some of the labels with minus one or run through this uh, and see what kind of uh, accuracy you get for uh, the uh, uh, labels after you run through the semi-supervised methods uh, please like share and subscribe i hope to see you all in the next video until then thank you